Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna do a uh, kind of a game room tour. Um, mostly because I wanted to do this tour because I'm getting ready to move some things around and reorganize. So I kind of wanted to do it before and after. So I figured might as well film it, make it a video, and you guys can see what my game room looks like now. Um, so basically, I'm gonna do a quick game room tour, uh, show you what my room looks like, and this way, uh, over the next couple weeks, I can think of how I want to redo things and set it up for a new game room tour. Um, so, let's get into it. All right, so this is my game room tour. I guess we'll start right over at the television section. So yeah, I kind of have this old uh, DLP television. It's a projection. Um, I bought it back when I worked at Circuit City a long time ago. And it's, uh, it hasn't failed me. So I found no reason to upgrade it. Other than the fact that, you know, it is 1080p, so it's still good. Um, but I'd like to have a wall-mounted one for a certain reason. And with TV prices going down, I figured even a cheap 1080p TV today is probably still better than this one. So that'll probably be getting upgraded this this uh, Black Friday sales. So that's my television. And it's kind of just a little knick-knack section that I have of the toys I like to collect. Some old VHS movies. A little bit of Mario. It's really just uh, anything I don't really have space for that I like to display. My Doctor Who. Pac-Man. I've had that since I was like 10 years old. Little Legend of Zelda flask. Uh, I like it. Probably not worth the twenty dollars I paid for it. Ocarina and Galaxy Two. Up here, Lethal Enforcers. Still have never played that game. Uh, it came with the Sega Genesis bundle I bought years ago, probably like fifteen years ago, and just never got around to playing it. My little classics, Super Mario 3 custom box, Breath of the Wild. Alright, and in this corner, this is where I keep the movies. Uh, not a whole bunch of them. I used to have a lot more in case, but I kind of got rid of the ones I didn't feel I needed. Get Smart, great show. And then, right in front of that is my speaker with my PSVR. All right, we'll come back here below the TV. A uh, little television I got the other day. Not sure what I'm going to use it for. I'm thinking about using it for an arcade setup. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll do a later video when I create that. PS4. Kind of the reason why I need to... Uh, redo my game room is because I don't want my PS4 on top of my bowling alley with a bunch of other CDs I have to create cases for I got this bowling machine right here which I don't really use but I like it so I kinda use it as a table more than anything and this is where I keep all my uh, audio setups, VHS player, PlayStation 3, my HD DVD player, Laserdisc, my AV receiver, my Xbox 360, and a PS2 that's not plugged in. 
Now I have my other Xbox One upstairs on my main TV because I use it as a Blu-ray player up there. With along with my Switch. I kind of keep my older stuff down here. The only reason why my PS4 is down here is so I can play VR. And as another Blu-ray player. Alright, let's go over to the systems. Alright, we have my other surround sounds. And then my bookshelf. On this wall, these games are my older consoles. And I have it hooked up to my CRT TV. So, we'll start with the bookshelf. On the bottom, I have some magazines. Super Nintendo games, a Nintendo I'm trying to fix, an empty spot, I forget what's supposed to be there, Master System, my Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, my Top Loader, and my regular NES, and my Switch Box. You'll see these numbers on a lot of things because it indicates how to get everything working for people that don't know how to work my uh, video games. Okay, on the next shelf we have my N64, my Sega Genesis, my Sega Dreamcast, one step above that, my original Xbox and my modded Xbox that I picked up, my PS2, and my Wii. And at the top of that, I still have my Master Edition inbox. Really need to display that sword. My Mario Serial, Mario Happy Mail, GameCube, Sonic Mania Box, Action Set, and Lego Dimensions. And over here, I got my Power Glove, a little Power Joy controller that I Got for a Christmas gift a long time ago. My Zelda book, Tick, and some. Laser disc. Oh, man down. Alright. And then over here on top of my TV. I have... My box that my PSVR came in. Power Ranger toys. DJ Hero. And this is where I kind of keep some of the controllers that I'm currently using when I'm playing games. Uh, every once in a while I'll clean it up if I haven't played a game in a while. But I keep my most popular ones right there. And then I have this big 36 inch TV. Um, it's nice, but you can't use light guns. That's a little unfortunate. So that's why I have this 27 inch up here. Uh, I split the signal so it goes to both televisions. And if I want to use a light gun, I just turn on the little TV on the top. I'd like to find a nicer one. Like maybe a 32 inch and just get rid of the two. Uh, but, you know, for now, I like the big screen. And let's blow that. My Atari 800, my Atari 5200, and the disk drive. Okay, we'll move over here. So, um, my IK that I picked up the other day, a power strip, and in this little PlayStation case is a bunch of uh, burnt PS1 games that I got at a yard sale. I uh, still haven't figured out how to work it. Below that, I have all my old magazines from my childhood. Uh, I wasn't a big collector of magazines. I kind of got them based off of what demo discs they were available, or they were given to me um, as gifts for like birthdays or holidays and stuff like that. Some PC box games that I got. This shelf is kind of for like my catch-all right now. Um, books, magazines, PC boxes that I just don't know where to put yet. And that's kind of how I want to do the game room is so I can have a spot for it to grow. 
some old Wii's that I need to get rid of, use GameCubes. I haven't decided if I want to collect all the different GameCube colors yet, so that's why I kind of have those two right there. Above that, Sonic Mania. Which you gotta love it. My IK that actually hooked up and works. I haven't tried the one on the floor yet, but need to get to that. Heroes of Might and Magic. I've never played the game. I've always wanted to. And when I found this for $2, I was like, alright, I'll get it. Cool little box. My air conditioner. My Halo sticker. And above that, I keep perfect spot for my handheld boxes. Little old guys. All right. And on this wall, into some of the games now. All right. So, this is kind of my Sega and Nintendo wall. A little bright. And my couch setup. All right, let's start in the corner. So, got my old second Super Nintendo on work in Dreamcast, but it's the uh, sports edition, so I figured I'd keep it. So my PC games are up here because it's the least played. I only pick up the ones that I like the box style or stuff along that line. Just got to move this light every once in a while so that we can all see. On the next row, this is where I keep my Sega Master Systems games. I kind of leave them out to give them more room to take up. But also the ones I enjoy the most. Over here, move on to my Sega Genesis. Sega Game Gear. And maybe I'll go in, in extra videos once I get the other game room tore up. I'll go in depth on the games that I do own. I don't really like having too many Genesis games that are unboxed. But a lot of these I got fairly recently or during my childhood when that didn't really appeal to me too much. And then NES games that were given to me by a friend who didn't want them anymore. So it was nice getting some of these in the boxes. My Game Boy games. I put them in these cases just because it keeps them a little bit better protected. And it works out really nice. I mean, they fit perfectly. And I, I just like being able to stack them and not have to worry about them scratching. Orphan Black, great show. And then my Atari 850 games. I started putting them in these cases so that way it'd be easier to find, protect them a little bit. Bottom shelf, I got my Game Boy Advanced. My N Gauge. I remember when I used to use this on my phone when it came out. DS games, Game Boy Advanced. Um, see, I have these in two different spots. I need to fix that. My regular Nintendo. I don't have a lot of every system, but I have a lot of the games that I enjoyed playing more than anything. I try not to collect too many things that I don't want to play. All right. In this little cubby, I kind of keep my Sega CD games, which need to be organized. Sega Dreamcast. Pretty much all these Dreamcast games are when I currently owned, or 
when I was a kid. I didn't add too much after that. Because there's always a new console to buy for. So you kind of keep what you uh, like. Uh, these right here are games that I need to uh, find a home for them. Knights, awesome game. And some more stuff I need to find a home for. Alright, and we'll back up on this wall. Let's get a good glimpse. And I have some chairs that I keep in front of my games for extra seating room. So, let's start at the top. Up here, I have all my old game boxes. Game Gear case, my Switch, and then right below that, I keep some of my accessories and controllers that I just don't have a spot for. These are a bunch of my other movies that I decided I didn't really need the case for because they weren't my popular ones, but I figured I'd keep them and, you know, save space. And a good spot for all my joysticks. That way they don't get ruined. Not sure why this guy is here. We'll just drop him down. My Wii games. Not too many of the Wii games I own. But. You know. All the ones that I enjoy. Well, my Wii U now into my Wii games. Oh, Pikachu's in the way. And below that, we got a little Mario guy hanging out with his own game. My other DS games, 3DS games. Same with my old consoles. It's kind of a way to display them and keep my other games from falling down. Skies of Acadia, fun, fun game. Legend of Zelda. And my GameCube games. Not a large section, but I enjoy pretty much all of them. I'm going to do a nice little Pokeball. Legend of Zelda. I've been starting to put my N64 with labels, but I didn't really like how they printed out. So I switched to doing this. Old Disney boxes. They fit in there pretty well. A little modification. But not too bad. Better than just having them on the shelf and I can see them easier. They do take up more room that way, but at the moment, not really it's too much room I have to worry about. A little isopropyl alcohol, you know, clean out those contacts. Explorer's Edition. Some of my favorite VHS games, Super Nintendo, and if you back up, this is where I keep my PS3, Xbox, Xbox 360, and, and uh, PS4 games, and PSP. Now, I made shelves using old wood uh, click floating floors, and I used my old VHS as... Um, as spacers, because I didn't really want to get rid of the VHS movies, but they took up a lot of room on the wall. Now they kind of have a benefit. Because they create shelf. And it kind of looks cool that way. I think, anyways. 
all my PS3s. Next to that, got my PS4s. As you can see, in current gen, not so much games because they're expensive. PSP. My PSP section has grown a lot this year. I didn't really have too many. I used it mostly for emulating and stuff like that. PS2. PS2 is probably one of the larger collections I had for a system that I owned. It's because they were so cheap at GameStop, even when they were new. Alright, we move over to this section. Now the GameCube. This is kind of the section for games that I want to get rid of. My 360. Original Xbox. And I'll go in more depth in other videos of my Xbox collections. Jade Empire, great game. Shimu 2. All right. And we'll just do a quick view of this closet. Nothing too much in here. It's where I keep all my controllers. Wires. And a bunch of empty cases. For discs that I pick up or to make into other things like GameCube, I mean not GameCube, but Game Gear controllers. And one last section. You're probably thinking, where's my PlayStation 1s? And I keep them right here in these old DVD racks. I just like them because they remind me of like, what I had as a kid. Well, technically, they are what I had as a kid, so... And that's my game room. That was my game room tour. Um, so basically, now it's all going to change. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount. Hopefully a little bit more organized. Uh, room to grow some of the consoles. And just a better flow. Uh, I especially want to organize it in a way so when I do my videos in here, um, I have a nice little spot for that. Uh, when I do my podcast, it's a nice little setup. Uh, and just easier to get to things and use the space that I have. Um, so yeah. I'll be making some changes over the next couple weeks. And when I'm done done, I'll do another uh, game room tour. That'll probably be like a month or two. Because uh, I need to find some more furniture f pieces. And I'm going to have to do that while I'm at yard sales or uh, thrift stores. So certain things I can't quite move the way I want yet, so they'll, it'll take some time. Uh, mostly first, I'm going to be working with the games and putting them in new spots. So, alright guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to leave comments, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, and uh, let me know how your game rooms look or feel, or things that you always tend to change or get tired of. Alright, have a good night, and uh,